Ngayong umaga po ay kasama muli natin si Bishop Jonathan Ferriol, ang Deputy Executive Minister ng Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Fort Watch, para bigyan tayo ng mas malalim na detalye kaugnay ng Home Free 15 Global Crusade. Magandang umaga at welcome po sa RSP, uh, Bishop. Good morning once again to you, Audrey, at sa mga taga-subaybay ng Rise and Shine Pilipinas. It's great to be back and it's great to see you again. Okay. Uh, well, natapos po yung sa subik na home yes. free, no? talagang halos 50,000 yung dumalo, mm. napakarami po. Mm -hmm. Ngayon naman, magsisimula na ang Home Free Global Crusade 15 Tour sa Quirino Grandstand yes. sa Luneto Park. Mm -hmm. Maring niyo po bang ikwento sa amin kung bakit napaka-importanting milestone nito yeah. para sa ating uh, mga Kristiyano. Yeah. The Home Free Global Crusade 15, Christ the Peacemaker Tour, mm -hmm. is the first evangelistic crusade that is going to be held in that historic park of our nation's capital since the pandemic. Mm. And uh, we are expecting to fill up the entire uh, Luneta Park, not only with the members of uh, the PMCC Fort Watch, but also the rest of our family and our friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really believe that uh, dumating tayo sa panahon na mas lalong kailangan ng tao ngayon, walang iba, kundi ang kapayapaan. Mm -hmm. There is so much uh, turmoil, Audrey. There's so much distress na nangyayari not only in the lives of private uh, Filipinos, but also in households and in our nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do not need to convince anyone that we are living in troubled times. Mm -hmm. And we believe, as the Bible says, that Peace, real peace and lasting peace can only come from our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, troubled times, lahat tayo may pinagdadaanan at exactly. lahat tayo kailangan natin ng kapayapaan sa puso natin, lalo na yes. sa spiritual na buhay. Yes. Pero nagsagawa po kayo ng libreng global crusade sa mga mm. syudad sa Pilipinas sa nakaraang mm -hmm. dalawang taon. Yes. Ano po ba yung mga naging impact ng crusade mm -hmm. na ito sa ating bansa at sa ating buong mundo yeah. uh, as a whole? You know, pag titinan ko ang uh, naging resulta ng Home Free uh, Global Crusade mm -hmm. this year alone, ng 2023 last year, mm -hmm. I, they are beyond words. Uh, flattery aside, exaggeration aside, it's beyond words to really describe the transformation, the salvation ng nareceive ng mga tao na dumako doon. Mm -hmm. And uh, you yourself, has a testimony. Yes. You've been sharing to me your testimony, how your life was impacted, how your mm -hmm. life somehow changed uh, for the better. Kasamang iyong mga uh, neighbors mm -hmm. when they attended the Home Free Global Crusade. Mm -hmm. And it is not the event in itself, uh, Audrey. It's the message of the event. And the message of the event is always about Jesus. It's always about His power to change our present lives and our future mm -hmm. and our eternity. And the result is massive. Uh, so many people, so many uh, households have given or have received, I should say, hope. Mm -hmm. They have received uh, a new chapter sa kanilang buhay. And as a result, they are living their lives uh, far better uh, than before. Mm -hmm. So, binanggit nyo, uh, Bishop, yung message. Mm -hmm. Ngayon po, ang tema ng crusade ngayong taon, yung Christ the Peacemaker. Yes. Paano ba ito mm -hmm. magiging, uh, gano'n ito kaimportante sa panahon mm -hmm. ngayon? Alam mo, ang ginagawa lahat natin dito sa lupa, I'm not saying they do not have a place. Yung mga peace treaty, yung mga conciliatory uh, actions within the family, being uh, forgiving, all of those have a place and part to maintain our uh, relationships. But unless man is reconciled with God, maliban na magkaroon ng tamang relasyon ang tao sa Diyos, maliban na magkaroon ng pakikipagkasundo ang tao sa Diyos, ang sino mong individual, ang sino mong sangbahayan, his life isn't gonna get better. Not only in this life, but in the life to come. That's the reason why Christ came sapagkat siya lamang ang makipagkakasundo sa atin, sa ating Panginoon eh. Not religion, not our morality, not our piety, only Christ and what Christ had done at the cross and at His resurrection. Sabi ng Bible, if you will believe in Christ for what He has done, we will be saved. Mm -hmm. 
that salvation, mm -hmm. an integral part of salvation is reconciliation. Come to think of it, hindi ka lang mapapabuti ang relasyon mo sa kapwa mo, kundi ang relasyon mo sa Diyos. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of these things that we are doing, like what I said, they have a place in our society. Pero skin deep lang yun eh, Audrey. Mm -hmm. It's just skin deep. We need to be reconciled right at the very recesses of our soul. We need to get right with God and our right relationship with God will uh, bring about right relationship with people. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, napakahirap po na mag-organize ng napakaraming, uh, napakalaking congregation. Yes. Napaka-challenging ito. Mm -hmm. Pero paano mo masasabi na worthwhile lahat ng effort ng mga mm -hmm. members tuwing ginagawa niyo po ang home prayer crusade. Yes. Uh, alam mo, tama ka dyan na ang uh, mobilization ng ganitong kalaking uh, crusade is uh, very huge. It is incredible. Mm -hmm. And our only compensation, if ever you can call that as compensation, kumbaga ito yung ating uh, sukle, uh, sukle mm -hmm. or ito yung ating uh, kumpiyansa mm -hmm. or uh, ano, yung, yung makita mo mm -hmm. na ang tao ay lumalapit sa Panginoon. At sila'y mas napapabuti at sila'y nagkakaroon ng kaligtasan uh, sa buhay na ito mula sa kanilang mga kasalanan. The Bible says that there is rejoicing in heaven mm -hmm. over one sinner who repents. So that is our source of satisfaction and joy. And uh, speaking of uh, mobilization, I'd like to congratulate and I'd like to recognize all the tech people and all the volunteers of the church who are working uh, since yesterday in putting up the massive uh, event and this stage. So, uh, keep up the good works and the Lord bless you. Okay, uh, Bishop, balita namin nun, no, karang Sabado, eh, nagkaroon din kayo ng parang uh, Grand Medical Mission yes. ang uh, PMCC mm -hmm. Fort Watch sa Paco, Maynila. Maraming mm -hmm. niyo bang ikwento sa amin to? Yeah. Uh, alam mo, kalinsabay ng aming mga Crusades ay ang aming mga community outreaches, ang aming mga humanitarian work. Sapagkat si Jesus, nung siya nasa lupa, hindi lamang siya nangaral ng Ebanghelyo. Nagpagaling siya ng mga may sakit. Well, we cannot heal someone, but we can definitely provide uh, someone with the means, mm -hmm. medically speaking, of, uh, you know, things they needed so that they can feel better. So, uh, we distributed uh, medicines mm -hmm. and all kinds of services sa mga residente ng Paco, Manila. And they are very uh, appreciative and they recognize our uh, good works uh, toward them. It's all part of our uh, ministry of the PMCC Fort Watch. Alright, bilang panghuli po, Bishop, ano, yes. pakiimbitahan po yung ating mga ka-RSP na nanonood po ngayon na umatend sa magaganap na home free. Okay. Uh, this is Bishop Jonathan Ferriol of the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ in the Fort Watch. Sa January 14, sa linggo po, sa ganap na ikaapat ng hapon, ay gaganapin po ang Home Free Global Crusade 15 Christ the Peacemaker Tour. At ito po ay libre, walang bayad. Ito po ay para sa lahat na mga ka-RSP natin. At amin po kayong iniimbitahan. Have an evening of inspiration. Isang gabi ng inspirasyon, ng pag-asa. And just to be able to feel right deep inside you, you will enjoy the music of the Katinas, ating mga sangka Christianuhan. Mm -hmm. uh, the Katinas is one of the foremost uh, vocal groups of the Christian music and they are coming to have a concert at the Quirino Grandstand. So don't you want to miss the Katinas and the dancers and the rest of uh, the event. Magkakaroon din ng napakagandang fireworks so you don't want to miss it also after our event. Well, exciting you know, yung mangyayari pero bukod po dyan, dalangin ko, mm. eh, maraming mga kababayan tayo, magkaroon ng kapayapaan yes. sa naa-attend dito sa yes. homecoming. Mm -mm. Well, thank you so much po sa muling pagbisita sa amin ngayong umaga, Bishop Jonathan Ferriols.